When it comes to 3D printing, something I hear way too often is all you can 3D print at home are useless knickknacks out of plastic that end up eventually in landfill. Well, today I want to completely debunk that by talking about some 3D prints I've created for myself that I use on an almost daily basis. Let's get started. G'day and welcome back to Maker's Muse. My name is Angus and today I want to talk about some 3D prints I've created over the last few years that I have found extremely useful. So you hear it far too often, you can only 3D print knickknacks and often, yes, people will 3D print things like little owls and little test pieces, little boats that don't actually float and they're not very useful, but really 3D printing is an amazingly powerful tool that you can use to make your life better in many ways. So to start with, I have this. So last year I did a project in Onshape on making a Red Bull can holder for my car, and the print was created on my original Art Mini in ABS plastic, and this thing has seen almost daily use. It's heavily stained from, I think, coffee that was sitting in the drink holder next to it, and it works amazingly well. This has prevented many, many spills because you imagine a little can in a big drink holder would fall over quite easily. So this took maybe 10 minutes to 3D model, even less, maybe about an hour to print, and it's seen almost daily use for over a year in my car. And also, don't forget, this isn't a car, and in summer, cars get quite hot, so if you haven't seen my video uh, comparing some, uh, in a very unscientific way, different plastics in a very hot car in the hot summer sun, you should click that video and check it out. So this is pretty in ABS, and it survived the test of time, and will probably be in the car till I uh, eventually upgrade and get a new one. And the next practical print that I created that's seen almost daily use is this. So this is a phone holder, specifically uh, that I use for my iPhone 6, like this. And this is printed in rigid ink, green PLA. They sent me some samples quite a long time ago, when I was still in Perth actually, that was printed on my original Wanhao i3. And the print has lasted a very, very long time. It's been dropped, knocked off desks, taken to different states. I think I even brought this to China with me, so I could have it on my desk. And it's just such an elegant solution to have your phone like that on your bedside table rather than resting flat. So I didn't design this holder. Uh, the credit goes to Ankit Jan, I think that's how you say his name, uh, on My Mini Factory. I'll put a link in the video description of where you can download this. It is for the original iPhone 6, so it's probably a little bit out of date now. My phone definitely is worse for wear these days, but this, again, has seen almost daily use. And it's a very elegant, nice solution of just converting a simple cable into a simple holder using a very small amount of plastic. And for the final practical 3D print I want to show you, we'll have to duck outside. So I'm currently at my parents' house and my mum is very much into sustainable gardening using methods to create a closed loop system and recycle waste to be used for plant fertilizer and all that sort of thing. And to do that she has a worm farm which is this thing here. So this thing's been just abused, it's in the sun, it's been here for a very very long time and the worms inside convert kitchen waste basically into really good fertilizer for your garden. But over time, in its use, these little clips had broken, so some of you may remember, I actually printed out new clips for her that I printed on my Fabricator Mini in eSun Pink PLA, and these clips are still working today. So they're here, they've definitely faded a bit and they're very dirty, um, but they're still working almost, almost as well as when I put them on there for her. So the beauty of this is, even if they do break, I can just print another set very, very quickly, which is why 3D printing is so valuable. You do need to have an idea, and that's what I've always said in my videos, you need to have an idea and a vision and the, that sort of drive to create something new, but you can use this technology to create amazingly useful practical projects that can actually make your life better and they do last a very long time. So thank you so much for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this little look into the prints that I've found over the years have helped me and just actually made my life a lot easier, especially the Red Bull holder. I mean, that saved so many Red Bulls from not being knocked over when going around a sharp corner. If you enjoyed this video, guys, on Makers Views and want to see future 3D printing tips, tricks, and reviews, hit the subscribe button. Helps me out a huge amount. And I look forward to seeing you again very shortly. Catch you later, guys. Bye.